My name is Shirley Anders, and some people call me Andy. This is kind of what he looked like always. This is my husband, Shirley Anderson. I'm his wife, Della. We've been married too long, according to Shirley, but he's stuck with me now. It'd be 50 years in September. Love at first sight, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, it was. He was so infatuated. A lot of good, some bad, like in any other marriage. But I think this has been the test. We met Travis because Shirley was in great need of a prosthesis. He wanted me to tell you that when he had his first surgery in radiation was in 1998. He had a cancerous place on his tongue and they did radiation and a radium implant. Yeah, they took his chest muscles out to pull him up into his mouth to give him some good tissue, but it didn't work. It's kind of been one bad thing after another, but it all stemmed from the radiation. The prosthesis necessary to rehabilitate Shirley is larger than anything we've made here at Indiana University. In someone's career, in my field, you may never be challenged with a prosthesis of this nature. Maxillofacial prosthetics requires customized solutions for every patient. The traditional process for impression, sculpting, mold making, and aesthetic characterization is a laborious task. I knew there was a need for a digital solution. Travis and his colleagues are the first people in white coats to ever enter <laughs> this space. He was like, hey, I have this really cool idea that you guys should get on board with. And we were like, yes, absolutely, let's do it right now. I got on the Cintiq and one of the biggest things about the prostheses is uh, having a feathered edge margin where the prosthesis comes in contact with the patient. So there's a, a tool in ZBrush, it's a tool in which you can pinch geometry to become very thin and very feathered. It was half awe and half frustration that they've been doing it the wrong way for so long. The patient comes in and we scan them, then we take all of that scan data, we bring it into our software to do our design work, we print the molds on a 3D printer, then we take those 3D printed molds, we invest those 3D printed molds with silicone, and then we take those silicone prostheses and we fit the patient. With Form 2 printing, we can see the actual pores in the skin and we can see the subtle wrinkles that Cade has put into his design. The fit of our molds is so intimate, it's so precise that we can get a perfect feather edge margin. We've used 3D printing to replace probably about 75, 80% of the process in traditional prosthetic fabrication. You inspired us to develop a team who can help other patients at IU. That's wonderful. That's what Shirley wants, is to help other people. We started with Shirley Anderson, but we've expanded that workflow to several other patients here. Jackie was involved in an industrial accident and he lost his left ear. We've taken the ear from the right side, we've mirrored it in our software, we've flipped it to the left, and we've created a support system for the ear. Being able to provide that digital solution at the second visit in such a short time frame is unprecedented. For me, it started off as a unique challenge and something really different that would be very interesting to be a part of. And then it kind of morphed into, you know, helping people in a very unique way. Maxillofacial prosthodontics and the entertainment industry, they don't really get together and talk to each other about, you know, here's how we can benefit each other, so why not? Like, why wouldn't we be able to continue this trend? 10 years down the road, who knows how fast they're gonna be able to make something like that. You're the guinea pig, I know what you're gonna write. <laughs> it's a privilege to have an opportunity to work with a patient like Shirley, because Shirley makes the process collaborative. Although it's likely the most significant challenge that I will ever face in my prosthetic career, let's make another one. I think it may be the most rewarding.
makes it more worthwhile, doesn't it, Shirley, going through it if you know that it's going to help somebody else. 